Over the course of several months, our students took part in learning about this precious habitat. They learned how to preserve such an important place and the whys and the hows of reducing the carbon footprint in our school and in our community. Three community partners became involved. Francis Littman from Creatively United from the Planet was involved in capturing much of the learning with photography. Dory Murphy captured much of it on video, and Nelsie Dewey became involved through drawing. <laughs> These three community partners also each took a group of students out during our Wednesday rock block to provide some teachings around their specific art form. Each group had the opportunity to work closely with Francis, Dory, or Nelson. This learning was unique and enjoyable, a curriculum not usually found in classrooms. As we went through the journey of learning about the High Rock Park, we all prepared for the grand finale, which was the participation in the Creatively United for the Planet's Earth Day celebration. Francis Lippmann, the extraordinary photographer who has a special interest in the environment, was able to capture so much of the learning that went on during the project's journey. She took the beautiful photographs and preserved them into a collage that became a book. This magical book is now ready to be presented, and today we are here to present it to you. So we think we'll start with the township of Esquimalt. So thank you, Barbara. This is going to be something that's a treasure everywhere it's found. Uh, you've all done such a tremendous job. Um, we rely on you to come out and, and participate in the community and and your learning is going to carry on and uh, it will it will become organic it will become part of all of us and future generations and that's what we need somewhere along the way we lost a bit of that and uh, on behalf of the township on behalf of the councillors that are here and the staff that are here i want to thank rock heights and uh, francis and all of the team that put this together We'd like to make our next presentation to Esquimalt Parks and Rec, please. And Olga is accepting on behalf. And David Twitter. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, I would just like to thank all of you for being involved in this uh, whole uh, process and for making this wonderful book. And uh, thank you again on behalf of the Parks and Recreation Committee. Um, and I hope that you will continue your activism into your uh, later years as well. So thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. We're so delighted to have you on the council. Um, and now we have um, Joy from the Esquimalt Library. And Joanna will present the book to Joy Hubert of the Esquimalt Library. And I'll let you say a few words. Thank you very much. We'll put this book into our library collection so that thousands of people can read it and look at it. I'm thrilled that you could be here, Diane, today, and thank you so much. And here you go. Here's a wonderful book. So On behalf of School District 61 Board of Education and Chair Edith Loring Kahanga, the board sincerely thanks everyone who made this project a reality and for helping our students develop a more in-depth appreciation for the natural world that we are all a part of. Last but not least, I'd like to present a book <laughs> to Rockite School. And there you go. And we also, yes, and we also have one more thing. It's not, we're not just going to give you a book. We have a fabulous perpetual calendar. Yes, so this, this can go up in the school. And um, it was just features some of the some of the superstars that took part in the project we all promise and I think I'm speaking on behalf of all of you thumbs up yes do we pledge that promise today that we will continue to work uh, with the community and, and feel really grateful that we have such a supportive community and we're excited to announce this April 25th and 26th we're holding our fourth annual creatively united for the planet Earth Week festival here in Esquimalt so we're <laughs> So you guys, it'll be really close to home, and we'll make the. We'll, uh, it's going to be at the English Inn on Lampson Street. So we're going to have a beautiful five-acre garden setting to enjoy there. Thank you so much for coming out, and yay really to the weather! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rock Hunt. Yeah.
Yeah.